Hello students I hope you have read and revised the topics adaptation in animals on land on mountains and in deserts so students in today's class I will teach you adaptation of animals in water and adaptation in amphibians students open your book at page number 41 and let's start our reading from the topic adaptation of animals in water animals that live in water are called aquatic animals so students mark the definition of aquatic animals on the book animals that live in water aquatic animals have following features which help them to live in water so students here question arises that what are the features of aquatic animals that help them to live in water the answer is most of the aquatic animals have gills to breathe for example fishes but few animals breathe through lungs for example turtle they have fins and tails which help them in swimming in water underline the word fins and write down its meaning any thin parts that stick out from the body of water animals so students fins and tails help the aquatic animals to swim inside the water they have slender and streamlined body which helps them in living under deep water and in swimming underline the word slender and write down its meaning part of body which is thin underline the word streamlined body and write down its meaning it is a shape of body that lowers the resistance so aquatic animals like fishes have streamlined body which cut the water current and this helps in easy movement of fishes in water some water birds like duck have webbed feet or paddle like flippers as in turtles underline the word webbed feet and write down its meaning fusion of two or more digits now underline the word paddle and write down its meaning aid in swimming underline the word flipper and write down its meaning shoe for swimming so students webbed feet and paddle like flippers help the animals like duck and turtles to swim easily in the water the examples of aquatic animals are whale shark water snake snail octopus and starfish blue whale is the largest animal on the earth so which is the largest animal on the earth the answer is blue whale now the next topic is adaptation in amphibians underline the word amphibians and the definition of amphibians is animals that live both in water and on land these animals have following features now question arises that which feature help the amphibians to live both on land and in water the answer is limbs to move and swim underline the word limbs and the meaning is arms and legs of animals so on land animal like frog move with the help of limbs but in water they swim gills and lungs to respire in water and on land respectively in waters animals breathe through gills but on land they breathe through lungs moist skin to breathe in water for example frog in its larval stage that is tadpole it breathe through gills but in adult stage frog breathe through lungs and moist skin the examples of amphibians are frog toad tortoise crocodile alligator and salamander let us read do you know amphibians are generally cold blooded animals underline the word cold blooded animals and the definition of cold blooded animals is animals 
whose body temperature varies with environment they cannot bear a very cold weather so they move under the process of hibernation now underline the word hibernation and the definition of hibernation is long winter sleep so students in today's class i have discussed with you adaptation of animals in water and adaptation in amphibians so read and revise the topic thoroughly and also revise the cross questions thank you and have a nice day